Motorized blinds would have to be one of my favorite smart home additions. Having recently moved homes, my new home has six roller blinds that I've been opening and closing daily. It didn't take long for this to become a chore, so I set out to find a way to automate them. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how motorized blinds can make your home smarter, more convenient, and even more energy efficient. Motorized blinds are window coverings that can be operated remotely using a remote control, smartphone, or a smart home assistant. They're a great way to automate your home and create a more comfortable and energy efficient living space. There are a lot of benefits to using motorized blinds in your home, and one of the biggest benefits I've found is just simply convenience. Now my blinds are motorized, I can easily adjust my window coverings without ever leaving my seat. This is especially useful for windows that are hard to reach or for those with mobility issues. Another benefit of motorized blinds is energy efficiency. By automating your blinds, you can control the amount of sunlight that enters your home, which can help reduce your energy bills. This is particularly useful during the summer when the sun is at its strongest. My master bedroom faces west, so it gets the brunt of the hot afternoon sun. I've set up an automation using a light sensor so that when the room brightness increases as the sun sets, the blinds will close automatically, keeping the heat out. Now let's talk about how to install motorized blinds in your home. The process is pretty straightforward and can usually be done by yourself. First, you'll need to choose the right type of motor for your blinds, whether they are roller blinds like I have, Venetians or vertical blinds, and then there are various types of motors you can retrofit to your existing blinds. I've chosen to go with a battery powered tube motor that fits inside my roller blinds from a company here in Australia called Dendo. These motors have the ability to be charged via a solar panel too, making them very maintenance free. Once you've chosen the right type of motor, you'll need to install the motor and connect it to your home automation system. This may be using a manufacturer's app or potentially using a third party radio frequency transmitter, which simulates the press of the blind remote control. In my smart home, I'm using a Broadlink radio transmitter along with a Raspberry Pi running Homebridge to bring my blinds into Apple Home. There are a few different ways to control your motorized blinds and a good option for those who want a simple solution is to use a remote control that comes with the blinds. Another option is to use your smartphone. This allows you to adjust your window coverings from anywhere at any time. You can also create custom schedules for your blinds to open and close automatically. For privacy and security, I have created a schedule so that two hours after sunset, my blinds will close on their own and then reopen the next morning after sunrise. Finally, you can also use voice commands to control your motorized blinds with a smart home assistant like Siri, Amazon Alexa, or Google Assistant. Siri, close my living blinds. This is a great hands-free option for those who want to control their blinds without ever touching a button. The cost of motorized blinds can vary depending on the type of blinds you have, the size of your windows, and the features you want. You can buy blinds already motorized, have motors hardwired, or have battery-powered motors retrofitted to your existing blinds like I've done. For reference, each blind motor I've installed cost me around $200 each. While not cheap, it's important to keep in mind the long-term savings on energy bills, convenience, and added value to your home. Using the ducted air conditioner here at home can easily cost me five bucks a day, so it won't take long to recoup the cost of motorizing my blinds by keeping the hot sun out. The only downside I've found so far to motorizing your blinds is you may lose the manual control of them as you often need to remove the cord winder, which means if you lose power in your home, you will lose smart control of them, just like any other smart device. But at least you can always use the handheld remote control as the blinds themselves are battery operated. Overall, we've been loving having our blinds automated. It's something that we used to manually open and close daily, but now it's just a set and forget type thing. It just works, doesn't get in the way, and one less thing we have to consider. And to me, that's a sign of a great smart home addition. I hope you found this video informative and helpful, and if you're considering adding motorized blinds to your home, be sure to do your research and choose the right type of motor for your needs. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.